All right, everybody, we're here again. This time we're gonna focus on um, some submission defense. Um, specifically, this time we're gonna focus on front headlock chokes, um, and we're gonna look at the guillotine, okay? So we're gonna start in kind of like a basic situation of the guillotine, and again, we're gonna look at our two main ideas or concepts for removing our body from these controls. Anytime a submission is locked in, we're gonna focus on removing our body in one of two ways. Using pressure to stack somebody or compress them to remove our body that way, uh, or to use superior movement to kind of rotate uh, out of position. And we're gonna focus on rotating out of position this time. So, we're gonna have a look at just kind of a basic situation, like the starting point of the guillotine. So we're gonna look at the guillotine in this front headlock position in the turtle. Now, We'll talk about the situation to do with the arms as well, and it's not gonna to change too much whether he has directly on your neck or with the arm inside. The first thing we're gonna look at is taking the tension, okay, off of the arm that's on our neck. Now, sometimes the person also grabs with a control called a chin strap, and they'll hold their other wrist as well, but this is a really powerful movement of controlling our head. And we're gonna use all right, this movement where we look towards his body. So we need to take the tension off of the hand that's on my chin. The way I do that is by the side that he has over my neck, I'm gonna reach really deep on that tricep and pull it, all right, down into my chest. And when I do that, you can see that it frees up my head and my chin, okay? Now, once we've done this, we're just gonna change sides here so we can look at the secondary option, whether it's arm in, okay, Okay, on this side, yeah, he's attacking my neck here on this side now. So now what we're gonna look at is how I'm gonna move my head, right, towards this side, towards his wrist. So again, I get a real deep grip on the tricep, and now what I'm gonna start doing is driving my head uh, underneath his chest towards that wrist. Okay, so as I start moving my head, I'm moving, 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 right, towards his wrist. And what I'm doing is I'm actively driving, okay, my body towards his hands. Now this is a really important understanding. All right? If I drive my body towards his tricep, it's impossible for me all right, to detach from him because his shoulder is connected to his body. All right? His arm is connected at the shoulder to the rest of his body. So no matter how far I move in this direction, I can't get through his arm. The good thing about moving towards the wrist is as I move towards the wrist and I keep circling and circling my head underneath his chin, I'm now outside of the control and I've escaped the guillotine. Again, this is the most basic kind of starting point of the guillotine defense. But again, he finds my neck in some way. I take that tension off of my chin and I start turning my body towards his wrists. All right, now a lot of the time you can find scrambles and things like this where I can end up in a good position. But we're just gonna focus on removing our head that way. All right, so again, we're outside of the guillotine choke and we're ready to attack ourselves again.